camera to make sure it's working. Good morning, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I'm going to cook a couple of eggs in carbon steel wok, carbon steel wok. And I just have a little bacon grease in here right now. I save all my bacon grease and I do that so when I just want eggs or an egg sandwich or something, I have something to cook it with. I'm not a big fan of olive oil or vegetable oil, things of that nature. I like my animal fat. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just warming up my pan and I'm going to do a couple of over medium eggs, which means I am going to have to flip them. Um, so we're going to find out if this pan is as good as I think it is. <laughs> I just don't feel like making an omelet this morning. On my Bill's Life Like It or Don't channel, I cooked an omelet right after I seasoned the pan. I made an omelet the next day just to show how well the pan was seasoned. I hope you can see everything. I hope you can see the pan and all that. This camera, this little $20 camera has got a lot wider field of view. My phone would, I would either have it pointing at me or pointing down at the pan because it's got a narrow field of view so it, it only sees this much. This camera sees this much. so. As you can see, I don't have to put my hands, in, I can put my hands over here, over here, up or down here, you know, you understand what I'm saying. It's got a wider field of view. So right now I'm just preheating my pan, it looks like it's hot enough. We're going to go ahead and crack these in there. And hope I don't break the yolks. I said I was going to do a few cooking videos, so I wanted to do this first one, just cooking some eggs. Um, I love cooking eggs, and that's one of the reasons I wanted this carbon steel wok. My brother seems to cook just fine in his weird little skillet, his ceramic skillet. I just can't get used to it, because I've always used cast iron or carbon steel. And I know I always say we got to keep up with technology and keep up with the times, but some things are just better old school, like a carbon steel wok. <clears throat> now I've got my wok set on medium right now because I want the bottoms of the eggs to get nice and cooked and brown. I don't. The one thing I don't like about restaurant eggs is that they're they're never browned. They're never they don't have crispy edges. They're not browned. Um, they put them in a really hot pan. It sears the bottom of the egg really fast. They swish it around. They flip it over. They wait a few seconds, and they put it on the plate. And the residual heat finishes cooking the eggs. And I've never been a real big fan of that. So let's see if I can do this. By golly, look at that. I love this carbon steel wok. I couldn't do that in a cast iron skillet. I'd have to use a spatula. So I love being able to flip my eggs, cook them over medium. And all I'm going to have this morning is some eggs couple slices of cheese and maybe some bread and butter. I'm not going to have a big fancy meal. Um, I just love this walk. Is 
Doesn't take very long to cook on medium heat. Does not take any time at all for it to heat up. My cast iron skillet, I would have had to put it on here and wait about 10 minutes for it to get hot enough. Look at that. And that, my friends, is a couple of perfectly cooked over medium eggs. They didn't stick to the pan. The yolks are still soft. The whites are all done. So now I'm going to grab me some bread and butter real quick and a couple slices of cheese and let's sit down and do some eating. All right. Here we go, my friends. I hope you can see me. Let me get my phone and my glasses. Let's put my glasses on so I can see what the hell I'm eating. <laughs> Did I tell you I'm a dipper? I used to make toast all the time. But I actually prefer just dipping the bread in the yolk because it soaks up more yolk. Toast is crispy on the outside. Really doesn't soak up a whole hell of a lot of yolk. Where the bread actually soaks up the yolk really well. And like I've said many, many, many times before, if you don't take too big of a bite, the bread shouldn't stick to the roof of your mouth. <coughs> Sorry about that. I had to pause the camera for a minute. My top denture kept wanting to fall down on this side. And I deal with that issue once in a while. It's something we have to... It's just part of wearing dentures. For me, sometimes I just cannot get it to seat on this side and stay suctioned in. So, you know I use denture fit in my top denture. And I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, my denture fits perfect. There is occasions where I can't get it to suction in on this side. You've seen me complain about that before. But it has, ah, it just wants to fall out. It has nothing to do with denture fit. It has to do with my gums. My mouth changed a little bit overnight or something like that. I went all day yesterday without my dentures. I ate a bunch of stuff without my dentures. And We need to understand everything we do can affect the fit of our dentures. Everything. So because I went all day yesterday without my dentures and I ate some stuff, my gum is probably a little swollen, even though I don't feel any pain or anything. I probably irritated my gum. It's probably a little swollen, so the denture's not quite going all the way up like it should, which is leaving an air pocket, which is allowing the denture to fall out. But here in a few minutes, it's amazing. It wants to fall out until I try to take it out. weird. 
Um, this is just some of the frustrations they deal with on a daily basis. Not daily. I'd say, now see, if it's, now it's fitting perfect. I just had to break it loose and push it back up in there. Now it's fitting fine and it doesn't feel like it wants to fall out. So, the reason I'm leaving that in the video is so that you can, you can see my life is not perfect. After four years with dentures, and today is not a good day apparently. Yeah. trying to get it to push up in there where it will stay. This is just part of the frustrations that we all have to deal with. We deal with this all the time. I don't care how long you've had your dentures. Your dentures aren't going to fit perfect every single day of your life. They're just not going to. So yeah, I'm a little frustrated right now. My dentures were fitting perfectly while I was cooking until I sat down to freaking eat, and now the top denture just wants to fall out of my mouth. Hmm. It's those little frustrations that, you know, I don't mind I don't mind showing you the little frustrations that I have. It makes it very difficult to eat when every time I open my mouth, that top denture wants to fall out. Normally, I can grit my teeth real hard a couple of times and it pushes whatever air pocket or water pocket or whatever the hell's in there, it pushes it out and it allows the denture to seat. That's not working this morning. So this is a good day to show you my frustration. And if there's one thing about this channel, it's truth. Life with dentures is not perfect all the time. No matter who you talk to. And I think because I was eating cookies yesterday, uh, some little uh, chocolate things with filling in them. Um, Let's see, I ate a couple of egg sandwiches in the morning, a couple of hot dogs in the afternoon, some potato chips. Uh, not potato chips, but those uh, chili cheese Fritos. And of course, I ate some Christmas candy. So with all of that combined, I think my gum over here, I, I, I tend to chew on this side more without my teeth in. And that comes from When I had all my rotten teeth, I had one molar down here and one molar up here left. Everything else was pretty much rotted away, so I had to chew on those two molars on this side of my face for over 10 years. So I tend to chew on this side when I don't have my teeth in. When I have my teeth in, I chew on both sides, one side or the other. I alternate. Wow. 
carbon steel wok is so slick, my egg won't even stick to the plate. <laughs> I love it. We have to get past our frustration. We have to understand when we're frustrated or aggravated, and you saw me get a little aggravated, but we have to understand it's not going to last forever. It's a temporary frustration. It's a temporary aggravation. And now my denture's staying in, but it wants to move a lot. So it could be one of two things. It could be that I ate a bunch of stuff with my without my teeth in yesterday and irritated my gum and it swelled up a little bit and the denture's not spinning correctly. It could be that it's time to replace my denture fit. That's another option. But what I'll do is I'll wear the denture throughout the day today, and then I'll put them back in again tomorrow. And if it's still acting up, knowing that my gums have recovered, if the denture still doesn't seat correctly and it's still acting up, then I'll replace my denture fit. If I remember correctly, it's been over three months anyway. I believe it has. If I think back, I believe it's been almost, well, probably closer to five months now. So yeah, I should probably replace it anyway. So it's actually fitting better now. But like I said, I'll wear it throughout the day. And then I'll take them out tonight like I always do and soak them. And I'll put them back in in the morning. And if they don't see immediately in the morning, if I'm still fighting with it for an hour or two in the morning, I'll just replace my denture fit. Because when I go all day without my teeth, and then I eat a bunch of stuff like I did yesterday, I've had occasions where I'll put the denture in and I'll have to fight with it for 15, 20 minutes to get it to seat properly. This morning, um, it felt fine when I first put them in. Then I fought with them for a little while while I was drinking my coffee and sitting here. And then I decided to cook, and they felt fine. But then as soon as I started to eat, and this top denture wanted to break down on me. Well, that tells me, more than likely, it's just time to replace my denture fit. So, yeah, if I chew on this side, the denture wants to pop down. So it's time to replace it. Anyway, um, I hope you liked cooking, my cooking, flipping the eggs in the wok like that. I've been waiting to be able to do that for so long. If you'll remember when I lived at the campground, um, I did a video cooking on my little stove outside. 
I had a dollar store pan that I bought at the Dollar General years ago. And I honestly think it was supposed to be a non-stick pan, but I had washed it so much and used it so much that I think I washed all the tiny little dollars worth of non-stick out of that pan a long time ago. But I could cook on my little biolite stove outside on my big round table. And I could throw a little bacon grease in there, crack a couple of eggs in it, and just spin them around and flip them just like I do in this pan. I believe that pan was a carbon steel pan that just had a little thin layer of non-stick in it that washed away years ago. Because even in a non-stick pan, I can't flip eggs like that. I've tried. I don't know if it's because I'm cooking on too high a heat, or if I'm not using enough butter or oil, or whatever the case may be, or grease. I just can't flip it. I just cannot cook in a non-stick pan, just like my brother's what do you call it? Ceramic pan. He cooks in it just fine. Nothing ever sticks. I try to cook in it. Eggs stick. Everything sticks to the pan. I just can't cook in it. All right, I want to end this video. Now I can chew on this side. Just took a while for the denture to seat. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Yep, I can show on this side too. All right. Well, I know now that I should be comfortable for the rest of the day, so I'm going to finish my cheese and clean up my mess. <coughs> and if you've made it this far, far through the video, I thank you for dealing with my frustration and aggravation and for sticking with me on this channel. I love you all. I think you're amazing. I don't show all my frustration on a daily basis. People would get sick of watching that. But I do, on occasion, like today, making this video, I did not expect this top denture to act the way it was acting. So it was the perfect opportunity to show my frustration and to show that we can get through the frustration. Now it's fitting a lot better. I think I'll wear it throughout the day, like I said. I'll put it back in tomorrow morning. If I don't have a fight with it tomorrow morning, then there's absolutely no reason for me to replace my denture fit. It's not peeling, it's not discolored, it's not... In other words, it's working perfectly. If my denture fits tomorrow morning, I know the denture fit is fine. I don't need to replace it. I personally believe that I irritated my gum even though it didn't hurt. You can still irritate your gum. You can get swelling in your hands and not know that you hurt your hand. You know, just from using them. You can be gripping something like this and the next day your hand will be swolled up, but you don't realize it doesn't hurt. It's just swolled up because you've done things you're not used to doing. Your gums are the same way. I ate some candy yesterday that I was unfamiliar with. And it it was hard on my gums. I loved it, but it was hard on my gums. So I probably irritated the gum a little bit. It swelled up. Denture just wasn't seating properly, and it took a little while for the gum to shrink down enough to fit inside the denture like it's supposed to. We'll find out. I'll let you know in a few days whether I replaced my denture fit or not. Anyway, I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Don't forget, if it's your very first time purchasing DentureFit, whether you're in Canada, U.S., or Australia, you can use the promo code GURU, G-U-R-U, for your one-time only code, and that's for your very first purchase, get you 20% off. 
And if you're in the U.S., you, and uh, if you miss the sale that they have, which was the absolute best sale they've ever had, uh, jump on the subscription plan, $16 a month or $21 a month, depending on which kit you order. You get your first kit when you make when you place your order, and you get a kit every 90 days. So that's beautiful. Link is in the description, first blue line. If you like the videos on this camera, this little action camera, if you like the quality of videos on this camera and you want one, go to my affiliate links under in the description. It'll be it'll say Amazon affiliate links. Pick one of these cameras up. They're only twenty bucks and they take phenomenal 4K video. So hope everybody has a fantastic day. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying. Whatever you do, never.